Okay, question one uh, of the day from Richard. How much does an upgraded chainer affect tone, tuning, etc.? I know in other woodwind instruments, when you can't afford upgrading a professional instrument, high quality, an upgrade to the mouthpiece can have a substantial difference. I play a set of Dunbar P1 polys. Would an upgraded chanter be worth the investment? Ready, set, go. All right. Well, here's what I'd say on that. It depends on what you mean by upgraded and what you currently have. Um, if they're an older set of pipes, you know, let's leave the Dunbars out of this for a moment, but if they're an older set of pipes, um, getting a new chanter is one of the best things you can do for your sound. It has the single biggest influence, I think, over your quality of sound, going from an older, outdated, or more difficult chanter to something that's new. Now, let's not confuse that between upgrading between plastic and blackwood. If we take the same two chanters, plastic and blackwood, there's very, very minimal difference. Um, and I, I wouldn't encourage that just for the sake of having a blackwood channer. Correct. Um, but going from an older channer or maybe a less reputable right. plastic channer to a more reputable chanter, uh, that would be a very good choice. I mean, it can have a huge impact over your, your, um, over your sound. Yeah. And then and generally any channer made in the last five years is really good. So there you go. That's what I would say. But yeah, it has huge impacts. Your channer does for sure. Yeah, that's what I would say. So regardless of what set of pipes you have, right, for a beginner or an intermediate bagpiper, this is the answer. If your chanter has been made in the last five years, no. Upgrading your chanter will not make any uh, significant difference in your sound, okay? Whether you play Dunbar, McCallum, Shepard, G1, whatever. Uh, there's no upgrade that would make significant difference in your sound. If your chanter is older than five years, it might possibly make a slight improvement in your sound. And then definitely if your chanter is more than 10 years old, uh, everybody should have a chanter made in the last five years. Um, and then we can kind of unpack that a little bit. So for a beginner and intermediate, right? So there are these things out there, black wood bagpipe chanters. I have one, I, I compete solos with one. Um, at the very highest levels, I sort of believe it certainly has like a slightly better feel on my hands. Um, and uh, maybe it gets a slightly warmer tone. It's also kind of expected. I think when a judge looks and sees you playing, they kind of expect to see you with a Blackwood Chanter. So um, there's a couple of sort of material reasons why I play Blackwood Chanter, but, um, but the difference in sound would be so slight, right? And the odds that we would ever actually be able to take advantage of that as a beginner or an intermediate are pretty slight, right? Because like usually as a beginner and intermediate, we're still working on steady blowing and hitting the sweet spot and mastering our tuning. So until we've done that, there's just no way. There's just no way. And remember the difference in price, like a Blackwood Chanter is at least double the price of your standard polypinko like plastic poly chanter. And as it is were, it right? as durable in any way? Yeah, right. And it's easy to break and... Uh, and it uh, can change over time. Yeah, and it changes with uh, the different environments that you play in and all sorts of fun stuff. So uh, if your channel has been made in the last five years, definitely not. Now, if it's older than five years, we may find it, it could improve our sound to get a more modern chanter because modern reeds are made for modern chanters. That, that, that's the biggest reason, right? So we might find that no matter what we do in our current chanter that was made in, you know, the year 2000 and I don't know, 10, let's say, like no matter what we do, the high G is super sharp and it's really like causing problems with our sound. So, you know, that might be, especially if you play at higher altitudes or in dry climates, that might be something that's real and to get a more modern chanter could really pay off. I particularly personally love the G1 chanter in that way. It's like so good on high G, uh, which is great. Um, and then meanwhile, if the chanter is older than 10 years, getting an uh, upgraded one would absolutely be worth the investment. Uh, just because reeds are made for modern chanters and those older ones are designed for lower pitch um, and they're not as, as advanced as far as like all the data points that chanter makers use to make chanters now. So anyway, uh, I think that's the best answer. So. So like really at the end of the day, it can be simplified down to if your chanter is made in the last five years, it won't make any difference. 
if it's older, if it's between five and 10 years old, maybe. And then if it's older than uh, 10 years, definitely. Which is basically what exactly what Carl said too. So we're in agreement. <laughs>